some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Orland Park, Illinois, with a sobtard who uh, was pulled over for fictitious plates and really doesn't have the ability to do much cognitive uh, reasoning. And shout out to the Blue Watch channel who uh, uploaded this video. It is a uh, marvelously uh, entertaining bit of stupidity. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> All in 753. Can you show me down on a 37 vehicle at Cheesecake? Everything's done for. So, the plate... The, the plate on the back of the car doesn't come back to this car. And the VIN that's written on the plate doesn't come back to this VIN either. Why are you looking at the plate? Because it's a VIN. This is what I do every day. Uh, you don't do that. You ain't got no probable cause to do that. We ain't broke no law. Absolutely, I have probable cause. Uh, yes, Softard, he can certainly do that. Uh, in fact, Illinois uh, law enforcement agencies, just like many other state agencies, make use of automatic license plate readers in their cars. And if it was against the law, then they would have been taken out by now. If they were deemed illegal by the courts, yeah, then that would be uh, an issue. So the cops can use them. Which brings me to another question. Why do you have somebody else's plate on your vehicle? Because he said that this uh, plate doesn't identify your car in particular, but somebody else's car. Uh, did you steal your plate, dude? I mean... You better be forthcoming on that. Listen, I'm not trying to start shit here. All right, that's cool. Listen, so, I, I, I do this. I do this every day. You see, I'm in the unmarked, backed-in cars, no front plates. You look at this car, and it's clearly a fictitious plate on the back. No fictitious plate. The plate. Back then, plate look, plates are on a car to be visible to the public. This is what we do. We call our lawyer and do that. We don't talk to nobody for nothing. Somebody Somebody I don't even know what was the probable cause. No probable cause. Probable cause. No freaking plates, you moron. And I know you're going to repeat this over and over again, but the probable cause are the plates. You have bad plates. What's the probable cause? You have bad plates. What's the probable cause? You have bad plates. Hey, uh, dude, you're beginning to sound like a broken record, Sovtard. The probable cause is the reason for the stop, and the reason for the stop is the bad plates. This is simple enough for a child to understand, but Sovtards don't get it. We don't even know, we don't even know who is this or what is this. You hear me? So let's go. Right, but what I'm asking is, it was Yeah, stand by, can I just get one more unit? No, you're not free to go just yet. You're not free to go. You're not free to go. Ma'am, do not get back in that car. If you leave, your tire's gonna pop. Your tire will pop if you leave. Do not get out of the car. Step out of the car. Hey, that's a violation of my rights. I'm telling man. you to step out of the car. You're about to leave when I told you not to leave. I am an Orland Park hey, police officer. I'm telling you that right now. Get your phone out of the tape. You violated our rights, man. I am not violent. I have my rights. Yeah. You're not about to leave. Well, now look at what we got here. Another soft art who doesn't know the difference between civil rights and civil liberties and sure as hell can't define it anyway. Have you been discriminated against because of your race, gender, uh, political affiliation, uh, pregnancy issues, or anything like that? If not, then your civil rights have not been violated. This is a traffic stop, numbnuts. And at this point, you apparently have a stolen license plate on your vehicle. Gee, I wonder if you throwing all this nonsense at the cop is because of the stolen license plate or something like that. Nah, that couldn't be it. Well, in 753, I think if you want to try and take off on me. Well, in 753, let me get another unit here. You just went over to step six. Step out of the car. Stay Step out of the car. 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 Step
Uh, because you're leaving after I told you you couldn't leave. Who are you? Who I'm are you? I don't know what. Orland Park Police. Seven fifty-two. I don't know what this guy is. I'm asking you what was the public call? Fictitious place hey, on the vehicle. Hey, could you take him? He's mail stopped. I stopped well. him. Everything's done for. Hey, take him. Take him. Step out of the car for me. Everybody is getting video. What's the problem? All right. Listen, I've already popped your tire video. here. That's fine. You popped my tire. You owe me for a tire. No, you popped your own damn tire, dude. You knew that the strip was there, and you still decided to run over it. Yeah, I think you're about as a clueless and brainless as a sob tart can be, and that's a very low bar to get down to. You can step out of the car. I haven't broken any laws. Everyone can take a slow. I haven't broken any laws. What's the problem? Come outside, and I'll talk I to you. I haven't broken any laws. If you don't step out of the car... Oh. What's up? Are you are you out of some uh, some type of seniority? Uh, th um, How can I help you? Authority? Are you How can I help you? Can we're I all policemen here. Can I get a supervisor? No, we're going to have you talk outside the car. Wait. No, we don't talk outside the car. We're going to talk, talk outside the car. I haven't broken any law, so I don't have to get out of my car. You haven't broken a law. Yeah, okay. Whatever, dude. I mean, but according to the Illinois statutes, you most certainly have broken uh, the law, dude. I mean, yeah, you don't have a, a valid plate on your car. It belongs on, on another vehicle, so therefore, this uh, car is not exactly uh, properly plated. Now, is it? You do. I don't. Why? What law have I broken? What what put papers up? What law have I broken? Do you have fictitious plates on this vehicle? What law have I broken? That I just told you. How are they fictitious? Come out here and I'll talk to you. The VIN on the plate. Doesn't match this. Is there a supervisor that I can speak to? Because right now I feel like I'm getting my. There is not. I'm, I'm getting my rights. We're getting all. All right. Hold on. I'm walking. I'm giving. I'm giving him a chance. Hold on. Hold on. Why are you asking him to pull the car? One, two, three, four, five. Listen. Five. Listen. You, got, you guys are officers of what? All the park. All the park. Listen. I'm telling you, you have to step out of this car right now. What law okay? have I broken, sir? You have fictitious plates on the car. And I tried to talk to you. You said you're getting your lawyer, and you got in the car. I told you you were not free to leave while I was investigating this. And I warned you about this stuff, and you decided to drive over it. How do you know my plates are fictitious? The VIN does not match the VIN that's on this car. Why are you looking at my VIN? Because it's a problem card I do it every day. Why are you looking at my VIN? This is, this is, this is, because it's clearly fictitious plates on the car. First of all, this is not a city. This is, this is private. This is private. I'm in a mall eating. Okay. With my significant other. Okay. Now I'm asking for a supervisor. I'm going to tell you to get out of the I'm car not, right now or you're going to be placed I'm in the custody. I'm asking for a supervisor to call us off. There will be not, one at I'm the not, Orland Park Police Department. Laws. I'm not running anywhere. Everybody putting on their gloves like you guys can't have a conversation. We will outside of this no, car. No, no. You, you have to listen. Sir, if you don't step out of the car, Before, you're going to be arrested for obstructing. Excuse me, sir. If you don't step out of the car, you're going to be arrested for obstructing. I'm, I'm not, not obstructing. You are. You are. I'm not. I'm asking. I'm telling you to step out of the car. Hold on. You're telling me. You're telling me my my plates are fictitious. Correct. You have no probable cause for checking my plates or for checking my VIN number. This is what I'm saying. No. It's just this is what I'm saying. They were on the back. Now, now I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm relaxed. I'm asking for a supervisor. Supervisor is not coming it's, here. It's, it's available right now, so you're going to have to step out. It has to be, you're going to have to step out. It has to be a supervisor. No, it does not have to be. There's, there's no law, there's no rule saying there has to be one. As soon as you ask for one. Sir, you will talk to a supervisor eventually. It has to be a supervisor. You will talk to a supervisor. I can promise you that. Okay. Now is the time to step out of the car, sir. I haven't broken any laws. I'm not obstructing. I'm not obstructing. As I keep repeating, I'm not obstructing. Yes, you are. I haven't broken the laws. If you do not step out of the vehicle, the car, you are going to be removed from the vehicle. Ask him you shall receive. I just took care of you. I got a boss here. He's what? coming right now. He's going to tell you the same thing. That's okay? fine. I haven't broken any laws. You guys are trespassing on me. Sergeant O'Connell. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for taping. Yep. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten people recording this. Okay, okay. that's fine. Okay. Now what I'm saying is, I just left out of here, out of the cheesecake factory, mm -hmm. eating. There's, I don't have anything illegal going on. This guy is beside my car, saying my 
plates are are fictitious. But what plates? He haven't ident. I'm sorry. He haven't identified himself. My name is. Right, he's wearing a vest that has his name and a badge that says Orland Park Police Department on it. He, what I'm saying, he didn't identify himself. Well, I'm Sergeant O'Connell, number 106, okay? That's now, so what I can is, hear that. He didn't identify okay. himself. He's Officer Warwick, 753, okay? I'm sorry we got off on the down, wrong foot. He didn't, right. This okay. is the first time I heard that. I just got here, right? So I'm doing the best I can. Okay. So what is the issue? The issue is, I don't know this gentleman from nothing in the world. Never seen him before. I just came out the Cheesecake Factory. Okay. I'm being told my, these plates are fictitious. Is that true? These, first of all, I don't answer questions. Okay. I will not be driving the car That's illegal. I will not be, well. I will not be operating, I will not be operating this So you're saying illegal. that it's not true? I'm saying what I said to you. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Now he's checking my vent uh, and he's doing things and there's no probable cause for that. What is the probable cause no. for an officer to peek on this car? To peek because on the, the car? The, the probable, cause the cause, the probable cause is the Secretary of State and the Illinois State Legislature say we can walk around this parking lot and run every single license plate if we want to. Yeah, dude, you want to know one of the reasons why that is? Is because there are people out there, such as yourself, who will probably drive on the roadways without registering their vehicle or even insuring it. That way, if something happens, then the person that ended up getting injured won't have any compensation given to them by the uh, person who is uninsured. The laws exist so that way the person who got injured will have compensation for what happened to them. So, dude, no victim, no crime? Yeah, you might want to rethink that mantra because, well, if you hit somebody and you were uninsured the whole time, well, that will come right down on your freaking head. Okay, we don't need probable cause to run your license plate, sir. Okay, what's your next question concerning the law? I haven't broken you up. You have? Is there a reason the VIN on the plate does not match the VIN on the vehicle? All right, very good. Somebody even I haven't broken you laws. Can you, can you answer me that question? I haven't broken you laws. So you can't answer that question? I haven't question. broken you laws. For, as far as I understand, According to the they can't. They can't get that, and I that VIN doesn't I don't come back to anything either. Plates on my my vehicle. According to the Constitution, I don't need plates on my vehicle. Uh, dude, the Constitution was written long before cars were even invented. I mean, good freaking grief! And the founding fathers knew that there was they couldn't cover everything because the uh, seven articles of the uh, Constitution cover the creation of the government, and the uh, amendments cover the bare bone basics of the uh, law, federal laws, which is why. In 1791, the 10th Amendment was added to the Constitution, which gave the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution, numbnuts. To go to A to B, and you know this. Huh? And you know this. Yeah, I already called Dina. So you're, you're no, saying you I don't need, need plates no, to... I need no, I do you need, identify as a I sovereign need, citizen? I need, I need no plates. Do you identify as a sovereign I need citizen? no plates. You guys, think you so. guys, I think you guys, there already. my tire. No, sir. I'm going to ask you to step out of the car and identify yourself. We're only in one of my I'm going to ask you to step out of the car and identify yourself for me, please. I haven't broken any laws. I have, I have identification, but I haven't broken any laws. Okay, please give me that identification now. I have identification, but I haven't broken any law. Okay, will you please give me that identification? What law have I broken? You don't have proper oh, registration for, sure. for your motor vehicle. That's the law that you've broken. I haven't. First of all, what's the what's the what's the articulate reason of suspicion? There is none. We're there allowed. None. We don't have to have one. You you have to have Are one. Are you Mr. Fox? You have to have one. 
I'm going to ask you to step out of the car and identify this yourself is, for is, me. This is very illegal. This is very illegal. Take care. Okay. Huh? This is very illegal. So I'm going to ask I'm you. Here. I have it. Hey, look, I'm taping everything. Run it? No. It's not they, allowed to get. They won't, they won't let their rights be infringed. So, yeah, I'll talk to you already. They won't let their rights be infringed on. Okay. Guess what? I haven't broke any laws. So. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't broke any laws. No laws have been broken. What's your first name? Period. Period. This is the problem. You guys, this is, this is why there's a disconnection. You, uh, That's why there's a disconnection with the people. And the officers is supposed to be, the peace officers is supposed to protect the people. Man. Absolutely, you're right. This is why. <laughs> but, hey. I haven't broken any laws. I'm coming here to spend my heart on fiat. On what? This is ridiculous. Do you have a driver's license, man? This is very ridiculous. I'm not driving. I'm not driving. Are you traveling? Why do I need a Why do I need a driver's license? Are you traveling? Or are you? Is, are you I'm not operating a commercial vehicle. Hey, Sovtard, have you ever heard of driver's license classifications? Because every state has them, and in Illinois. Class A, B, and C are designated as the commercial driver's licenses. And Class D is the regular driver's license that everybody, including you, must have. But if you're going to be driving a commercial vehicle, you have to have A, B, and C. So, my moronic softard friend, Class D in Illinois is the one that you need if you're not driving commerce. It's that simple. You just gotta look this crap up, dude. So go put some wrinkles on your smooth uh, brain. Uh, actually look up this stuff and learn it. Yes. Your key is in the ignition. I'm not, no, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not operating. Right, well, Very he was. Recording. He was oh, okay. Very recording. He's not in the <laughs> and you're, well, and you're laughing. I'm laughing like you're you keep asking questions. And you're laughing. That's my last name, actually. That's ridiculous. You are illegal. That's not legit. You don't. Hey, don't are you all taping? Yeah, are I tape. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I see I you are too. To There's like ten of us out here with that cameras on. That's fine. Illegal, man. That is not legal. Would you? Would you? Would What's it be okay legal? for someone to do your daughter or your son like that when they come out the restaurant? Do what? what are you talking no, about? No, it wouldn't. It what are you would not be about? okay. It would not be okay. It would not be okay. How you doing, man? Hey, my name is Casey. I'm a I'm a sergeant here. Okay, how's it going, sergeant? It's going good. Uh, I haven't done anything illegal. I don't have to identify myself. So I it, have identification. Okay. Do you mind if I get it? But I don't have to identify myself. I haven't. I. I definitely mind. I don't do that. I don't have. I don't have to do that. I haven't done. That's why. That's why I'll buy. I'll buy. buy Look that I'll, name up on iClear and I'll buy, work it out. Everything that I need to buy, buy, so I don't have to go through that. Okay. So uh, I don't have to go through that. So My parents raised me right. Here, here's the thing. Okay. So the officer kind of just briefed me what happened here. All right. The officer and friends don't on my liberties. Okay. My constitutional liberties, man. I understand that. So the the plates on your car don't match don't match the vehicle, which gives him the right to investigate that. Okay. My people die for this. Well, nobody nobody's yeah. here, nobody's gonna die here. We're just asking you to step out and talk I'm to us. I'm just telling you. Okay. We're just we're just asking you to step out and speak with us at this point. I'm, I'm speaking right now. I understand, but I would feel more comfortable if you stepped out and talked to, you, to me. I'm speaking to you now. You're comfortable. I have I have nothing going on. Okay. I have, I have listen. You guys have weapons. I have no weapons. You have no reason to fear are, or to are there or, any or are, to be uncomfortable. Are there any officers out here that are pointing weapons at you? No, right? Absolutely. We're just not. we're just talking Absolutely at this point. Not. And let's keep okay. it that way. So at this point, he gave you a lawful order that you weren't that's free a, that you weren't that a, you weren't free to leave. What's he's, lawful about an order? He didn't give me a lawful order. I'm I'm just telling you what I've been told at this point, okay? 
He told you don't, you couldn't leave because he was investigating the license plates that's on the vehicle because they don't match the VIN that's that supposed to be on the that vehicle. That gentleman never identified himself. He's standing by my car with an unmarked car. I don't know who he is or what he is. It, I don't know what, I don't know what's going on. But he is wearing Honestly, a vest similar to mine, right? He hasn't identified to this young man, this sergeant, when this sergeant, it's the only time he identified. And he never identified himself. The sergeant identified him. Okay, but so you, you, know, you understand he's wearing a vest that says police on it, right? They, you can buy they, uh, security, security, security. Okay. security no, wear we're that. not moving cars at this point. Security wear that. What's security, that? This is not a stolen car. Okay. okay. This is not a okay. stolen vehicle. Why don't you give, I haven't broke a lot. Why don't you give me your first name, okay? Because at this point, you're, you weren't free to leave. You're not free to leave. And you could either step out and be placed under arrest uh, for guys, obstructing? You guys could bring a bigger supervisor to, sh to tell me why I broke the law. I haven't broke the law. I haven't broke the law. I've been through this before. Well, I've been through this before and I got the tapers to show it at, that I'm this, constantly going you're through. You're not listening to me. I, I don't even know your first name. You know mine. Okay? What's your first name? I'm not identifying myself. I haven't broken any okay. laws. I haven't broken any laws. Okay, I'm gonna identify you as sir at this point. I okay, sir? Me. At this point, Sir. the officer has observed the license. Officer license. Have listen to me. Anything. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm gonna. Hey, could you guys? I'm gonna explain it to you. Him? No, dude. You can't file back on it. possession the tape. The tape. The unlawful acts of of these of these peace officers. Look at at this point. Yes. This is what's gonna happen. Okay. I've asked you to step out of the vehicle, and right now. I haven't broken. And right now. You're obstructing our in our investigation. I am taping, yes. What's your, what's your number? What's your uh, badge number, sir? 105. 105? Yes. Name? Sergeant Wong. Sergeant Wong? Okay. okay. Here's what's going to happen. My, she's, 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 she's with the child. Okay, I'm asking just, you to step we out. Left. We just left. We just left. You're making a bigger deal than, uh, about this than it needs to be. We just left doing business in this, this establishment. If she's hurt, that's going. That's going to be a harder penalty on you guys. I, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Out here. I want nobody to get hurt. All Every I'm asking. Out here. At yeah, this point, I'm here. asking you to step out of the vehicle. This okay. Man, this young man back here with the man. Right. I'm asking you to step out of the vehicle. Okay. I don't. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Okay. Trust me when I tell you this. I don't want anybody to get hurt. I'm asking you to how step many, out so that we can have a months, civil. How many? How many? How many months? How many? Hold on. I, I'm sorry, I missed what you said. You need a, a female officer here because I'm here. You can dismiss this shot, buddy, because I don't like her. Ha ha ha! The ladies, she's she's condescending. She's very condescending. Her condescending. And I don't even want her touching me. So y'all have. You, no, you need another nobody, person. nobody wants. Uh, nobody wants to put. Nobody wants to put, nobody wants to put hands on you. In okay. Her attitude is ridiculous. I understand that. She needs retrain for real. I need you guys to step out of the vehicle, okay? And and the and the reason I'm stepping out of the vehicle because you're going to be placed under arrest for obstructing. I'm under arrest for obstructing. I yes. never so obstructed. I okay. I just I just I asked you guys to identify you attempt, to me. You attempted to leave his lawful investigation. At which point he asked he you to stop and not go anywhere. He never identified himself. Okay. For one. And if that is something and, we could talk about later, okay. I don't. Th he, uh, let me explain to you what's going to happen, and okay. it's it's not something that I want to happen. Okay. Right. I don't want to keep asking you to step out of the vehicle. Okay. And you not complying with that order. I'm giving you a lawful order. This listen to me. Just told listen. You listen told to me. You. Listen to me. He just told you. A listen lie. to me. He, okay. He That's went fine. In the car. Let's figure. Out, in the let's car figure all that there. out later. Okay. Okay. You can have your day in court and to you discuss that. Him before that. You, you can. Take him. You can have your day in court to discuss that. Okay. Here's the deal. I don't want to keep asking you to step out. I've given you many opportunities to step out of the vehicle to speak with us. You're not complying okay, with that so order. So I'm basically being forced to get out of my car. Yes. Because I see you guys. Yes. Y'all set up to get physical. Is anybody getting physical with you? I said you guys are setting up to get physical. Do you, I have do you some, want me to get physical listen, with you? That, I'm asking you a legitimate you question. Do you want me to get, get physical? physical? I don't want to get physical with you. I understand she's pregnant. I want nobody so now, to get hurt. So now I'm basically in fear. 
Because I'm telling you guys, I haven't broken any law. When you don't break any law, you don't have to identify and, yourself. And we're you but you have. Okay? So at this point, I'm asking you to step out mm -hmm. because our next option here is to break the window and to force you out of the vehicle, which we don't want to do. I don't want to go, be physical with you at all. I want you to comply and we can have a discussion about it. But at this point, you don't want to listen. You don't want to listen to the investigation. So at this point, I'm asking you to step out of the car before we're forced to break the window. Do you want your window broken? It's a legitimate question. Do you want your window broken? Yes or no? I don't want anything broken on this vehicle. I don't want anything broken on this vehicle either. I also don't want to have to physically come in there to get you out of the car. So there's no authority that could prevent my rights from being infringed on at this point, basically. Because there's two at, at sergeants. This, you are a sergeant, yes. he's a sergeant, and no one's stepping in. So you're... We have not violated your rights, to be very clear, okay? You have refused to comply with Sergeant Wall's orders, and now, unfortunately, you are pushing our hands to a point where we're going to have to physically remove you from the vehicle to place you under arrest. Which we don't want to do. I, okay. I, don't, I don't think we could possibly be any more reasonable or offer a grander explanation in the parking lot of a mall than we have. Okay. So and that's I'll, as I'll, simple as I can make it. If this. you step out, it'll make life a lot easier. I'm about to step out. Okay. I appreciate, I appreciate it, it, sir. I'm about to step out. That's right. You're, you're welcome to live stream whatever you want to do. Just step out of the car, okay? I'm not... Thank you very much, okay. sir. All right. So hold on. What are we doing? You're, you're, you're being placed arrest? under arrest is what we're doing. Put, put your hands behind your, your hands behind your back. Give me phone. Put your hands behind your back. Give her the phone. Give her the phone. She has both phones. Let me make up a lie so I could be placed under arrest. I can promise you that none of us here are lying, sir. I'm going to double lock these so that they don't tighten up on you. Watch your foot around the Orland Park Police Station. Can you step out for me, please? Yeah, I don't want her touching me, though, so y'all gonna have another female officer. Yeah, I, just, I literally just said that. Yeah, I that's fine. And Guido, can you go on the other side? That's fine. Yeah, she that's can't. Fine. Hey, you know what? Get that young lady. Get that young lady name. Who, um, we'll you're gonna have everybody. Everybody's name. Don't worry. Sir, do you have an ID or anything? No probable on you? cause to run any plate or any vent number. Do you, do you have an ID on you or anything? I'm being searched illegally. Let's go this way. Right here in my car. Come on. I'm being searched illegally. My number is 708931. Now here comes the really stupid part of this whole investigation. Michael was charged with a felony for possessing stolen or altered plates, misdemeanor counts of resisting and fleeing. All charges against him were dismissed in court. Yeah, they were dismissed, but according to a Sovtard, a dismissal is a victory. But Sovtards really have no grasp of reality or how the judicial system works. Just because a case was dismissed does not mean it can't be reopened later on and you can be charged again. So keep that in mind whenever you go out and do this kind of crap out there because eventually they're going to reopen all these dismissed cases and it's going to be used against you. I've seen it happen with a few people that I know. They uh, continue to mess up, they get the charges dismissed, and then eventually they do get the big one, and, well, those old cases come back to haunt them. So, yeah, make sure you remember that when you get the really big one. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?